I just wanted to make a quick video. This is my 2017 Specialized Tarmac Expert. I'll do a review on the whole bike pretty soon, but I just wanted to do a quick video regarding the seat post clamp. It's an integrated seat post clamp that Specialized came up with. Looks nice and clean, but uh, the only problem is is I had to replace the seat post that came with the bike. I had an offset seat post and I wanted to go with a zero offset seat post so I figured well I'll just swap out the seat post real quick. I got a nice head seat post. Anyway, so when you remove and loosen this clamp enough to get the seat post out, that's not an issue. The problem is when you pull the seat post out you get this little there's a there's like a two-piece clamp there's the screw with like a half moon piece two pieces that that move in and out as you screw the clamp and on the other side of that is like a wedge piece that pushes against the seat post that tightens it and that's all good and fine but the problem is is that you have this black little rubber piece holding those two pieces together and as you can see mine broke and the bike's maybe three or four weeks old so this little piece that came from specialized lasts about a day before it probably breaks and i hadn't even i'd only loosened the seat post maybe two or three times the original seat post to adjust it at a, for a bike fit to get the bike to fit me. So, as I took the seat post out, this little lovely piece breaks off. The little wedge clamp that holds the seat post in basically fell down into the bottom bracket area. Now, lucky for me, I'm not running DI2 or anything, so there's no wires, there's nothing in there to get it all uh, tangled up in there and luckily it didn't fall into the seat the chain stay or anything like that So I was able to basically just turn the bike upside down and all the pieces fell out along with the little broken rubber band part Now I haven't seen too many videos on YouTube about how to put this thing together and uh, how to find an extra little rubber band piece because getting these pieces back together and putting them inside there to get the seat post in was not fun now granted i got lucky i put the without a rubber band putting these two pieces in there together and getting the seat post in at the same time is quite a trick what i did was i put the clamp in using needle nose pliers and i i loosened it quite a bit so the two the two wedge, half moon wedge pieces were pretty far apart. So I was able to use needle nose pliers, stick the screw in there, put it in there. Then what I did was, was I used an Allen key, the four mil Allen key with one hand holding it in there so it doesn't move. Then I took the separate wedge piece that goes against the seat post and I put just a dab a little grease on the threads of the screw to kind of help hold that piece on it because at the time I didn't have a little replacement rubber band piece since then I have found that my daughter's little hair rubber band piece that you can get a box of these at the store for like a nickel it's just a little hair band rubber band that's actually way stronger than the one that came with the bike. These things you can stretch forever. And anybody that has kids and a little girl knows with long hair that these things are great. It's basically the exact same size and it would hold the two pieces together. So there's a little tip. Get Before you do that, get some of these little rubber bands, uh, hair rubber bands that you can get at any store, Target, you know, any drug store any any place so then I was able to 
anyway, going back to my original story, I was then able to keep the bike. I, what I did was I put the bike in my stand, holding it here very gently with a towel, tilted it so the so that half wedge piece so the the rear end was up in the air and then stuck it on there i was able to slide the seat post in and i it took one or two tries so i did have one more time where it did fall back down i had to get it back out stuck it back in there very carefully then i stuck the seat post in and then you're good to go then you can just tighten the bolt up six newton meters and uh, you're good my tip would be if you have not taken your seat post out of your tarmac yet my suggestion to you would be, if you don't want to lose this piece, take, if you're going to take the seat post out, flip the bike up upside down. That way, those pieces don't fall down into the chain stay or into the bottom bracket area. That way, if those pieces are coming apart and this piece does fall out, it'll fall right out instead of going down. So that would be my tip. A um, few other little tips, good things to know. I'll do a full review on this bike soon, and uh, that's it. Take care.